guys, welcome to this kindergarten video. So, today we are going to be doing Monty's quest. Now, quickly before I do this, well, first of all, if you want to see uh, all the progression of uh, me playing this kindergarten game, then you can click the card at the top right hand corner of the screen to see the whole kindergarten playlist. Um, but, uh, actually, getting into the point is, I actually recorded this video yesterday, but. I would, but I had no, in I had no intel on how to do Monty's quest, so I just went into Monty's quest trying to figure out how to get, you know, the twenty dollars that you need in order to complete the quest. So I had no idea. I got close, but I didn't. The video ended up being really long, and I was like, I don't really want to upload this, especially if I don't even figure out how to do it. So I came back with new intel. I found out what I missed, the one thing that I did miss, um. And now I'm going to pretty much just turn this into a tutorial on how to do Monty's Quest, because now I know how to do it, and I didn't really want to, like, do it, like, I didn't really want to, like, upload a video of me, like, trying to figure it out, um, again, because that already took way too long, and I was like, I don't really want to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to actually turn this into a tutorial, and if you guys have a game, and you guys never done Monty's Quest, well, this will tell you how to do it. So, obviously, in order to do Monty's Quest, you do need to get uh, the Jerome, you need to do Jerome's mission. It's pretty easy, um, you just have to follow everything, and pretty much you get the key mold, and, well, here we go. So, obviously, we do need to bring extra money to school, uh, as much as we can, obviously, which is $10, um, because we need to bring as much money, because we need to pay $20 for the key for Monty at the end of the day. So, Bugs is going to steal your money, he is going to steal half of it, so we are only going to have $5 to start off with, but that's still more than what we could have had normally if we didn't bring extra money. So first we're going to talk to Monty, and obviously we're going to ask him, I need this key mold. Uh, that mold you want to use, sure, no problem, it's going to cost you $20. I have not made be, but at the end of the day, you can pay me for it then. Uh, how am I going to get that kind of money? And here's kind of a hint, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of ways to do it. I'm still open to selling stuff to you. Uh, try and gather some rare items, and it's definitely possible. Right. So, actually, we're going to talk right back to Monty, and we're going to want to buy something. I know you're probably like, why would you want to buy something? You're trying to get as much money as you can, now you're losing money. We're actually going to buy the yo-yo, and this is, we've done this many times in any of the quests. Pretty much the yo-yo is pretty much a magnet to getting out into the hall, into the janitor's closet, or the bathroom, uh, during morning time, because you pretty much give it to Jerome, and you can go into the hallway. Uh, but we're not going to talk to Jerome right now, actually, we're going to talk to Nugget, and here we go. So, uh, we're going to actually ask him, what happened to Billy? And Billy is missing. Uh, poor Nugget misses Billy, but Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. Do you know where he is? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows? Your questions upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pill. Much better. What are we talking about? Billy. Who? I don't know who you're talking about. We were just talking about him. We were not. The principal has forbidden me from speaking about it, and if you press me any further, I will report uh, you to him. Uh, I need to know. Uh, no, you do not. Enjoy your trip to the principal's office. Whatever, Nugget. So, we are going to get sent to the principal's office right now. Uh, now there is actually another way to not go to the principal's office in order to get pills, but it's only one pill. Um, and that's pretty much if you just, uh, tell him, like, what's in those pills, and he'll just give you a pill for free. But yeah. Uh, so I've been, I've been told, dude, you're feeling sad about Billy. Uh, who told you that? Oh, no, uh, oh, you know, word just, uh, gets around, you know? It doesn't matter how I know, it's that I do know. I'm not sad about Billy. You're not? Why are you so interested in his disappearance? Were you listening to my conversation with Nugget? What? No. You shouldn't accuse authority figures of eavesdropping. I know what I cause. I'm the principal. Uh, got it? Okay, sorry. It's become increasingly clear to me that Billy's disappearance has greatly affected you. I want you to take these. They help Nugget immensely. You're giving me pills. Don't think of them as drugs. Just think of them as a portable therapy to help you cope with your feelings. Okay, thanks. Uh, take one right now. Uh, wait, actually, I don't remember if I'm supposed to do this or not. I'm gonna say no. Take it or there will be consequences. Okay, never mind. He's probably gonna kill me if I don't, so fine. There you go. Isn't that better? I feel good. Alright, cool. Um, oh, wait, a bomb. Okay, well, I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so here we go. Welcome back. Hope you, uh, everything turned out okay in the principles. And, oh, I know that's one of the voice principal gave you some pills. And he's she's gonna go ahead and take some pills. There you go. So, now, can I do this? I, I know that this wasn't a, yeah, she doesn't care. Is it going to take me an apple to do this, or, okay, I'm not going to do it then. Alright, so we're going to talk to Jerome, and we're going to pretty much just get the whole, like, you know, morning buddy, let me go into the janitor's closet thing. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that, right? And he's going to go to Extractor. Then we are going to go out into the hall, and obviously we're going to get the little stoner hall pass dude out of the way so we can, uh, you know, get past. Go into the janitor's closet. And then we're going to go all the way down to this little box down here, and we're going to take the $5 that are in here. Now we got $9, right? Then we're going to go actually go out of here, and then we're going to go into the bathroom. This is what I missed on my playthrough. I did not know I had to do this. This is the only thing I missed pretty much. Uh, so pretty much you're gonna actually have to talk to the janitor here. Yeah, what's going on there, boy? Uh, what's in those bags? What bags? I don't see no bags. Those bags. Oh, these bags. Uh, nothing for you to worry about. Your stupid little head about Now run along. Uh, it's bleeding. Oh, yes, it is, uh, bleeding. So, did you know I'm required by law to stay at least, uh, one mops away length from children all times? Uh, how did judgment get passed down? It's a long story, but it ends with someone on one end of the mop. Uh, that sounds riveting. It is, but that's a tale for another time. I'm morbidly curious. Here, me too. But that got me into a mess in the first place. Anyways, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to tell someone your age of that story. But it's okay for me to see a bloody bag in a bin? Alrighto, you are a chipper, young sport. Here, take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. A nickel won't cut it. What do you mean a nickel won't cut it? A nickel's gonna have to cut it or I'm gonna have to cut you. Uh, chocolate is more expensive than a nickel. Oh, in that case, I'll let the old lunch lady know that, uh, to give you a chocolate, uh, at a price you would have seen back in my day, for the whole mop incident. How's about that? Okay. Good, now skedaddle, and we're gonna skedaddle. So, I had literally no idea, and uh, you have to actually make sure that you do, did, like, the how to judgment pass that, or else it's not gonna do the same thing. So, I had no idea that I had to do that, like, because I was not gonna go into the, uh, to the bathroom, uh, during class and talk to the janitor because I thought he was gonna kill me obviously that's what he pretty much does to anyone um, Yeah, okay, so Jerome obviously mad at us, but whatever, you know, it's fine We still have the hall pass we're gonna go to lunch and he's actually gonna let us keep the hall pass because we don't tell him that I didn't care about getting it uh, So pretty much he just lets us keep it and that is gonna come important in a second But first we're gonna talk to the lunch lady. How you doing there, Sonny? Uh, want some nutritious slop? Um, I'm gonna say got anything else. Well, the menu is kind of restricted right now with the new health regulations. I have a chocolate bar. It's pretty darn expensive. The janitor said I could get it for cheaper. Oh, you must be janitor's new little friend. Yep, he said you were a good kid. Uh, I can let you have the chocolate bar for a nickel. Yeah, so we can literally get it for five cents, uh, which is pretty much in. That's pretty insane because normally it's ten dollars. So there we go. Get the chocolate bar for five cents. All right, have a nice day. Cool. So, yeah, no one cares about Lily right now. Um, so we're actually gonna go ahead, uh, go ahead over and talk to Monty. And we're gonna say, I wanna sell something. So first we're gonna sell him the chocolate bar. And he's gonna give me $5 for that. Then, we're going to say, I wanna sell something again. We're going to sell him the hall pass. Bam. Now we have pretty much $19, and all you have to do is just eat the apples. And you're good. So we're just gonna eat those two apples and if we just well there you go we have twenty dollars and seventy cents all right uh what did i bring for show and tell uh i guess i'll do the bomb that's one of the principal's devices why would you have that whoa oh well i was not as sure of that okay i didn't know it was gonna blow me up okay Whoa, a whole bottle? You must have been really up at the principal's business, huh? Hey, you ever, uh, you ever want someone to take those off your hands? I got a penny for you. Hands off, Monty. I called it first. Oh man. What? <laughs> Are they fighting over my- Oh my gosh. Now that's settled. Who wants to go next? Uh, so who's next? <laughs> okay. I didn't know it was gonna blow me up when I picked the bomb, and that's pretty funny that Miss Applegate and Miss <laughs> Monty are fighting over drugs. Okay, here we go. Okay, kid, it's the end of the day. You got the money? Yep. Wow, you raised all that money in one day. I'm impressed. Whatever uh, whatever you plan on doing with that key, be careful. Some fishy is going on at the school. I will. I'll see you around. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. And we got the achievement money bags. Nice. And key to the principal's office. And that is how to do Monty's quest. So... I do gotta say, without knowing what you're supposed to do, I think Monty's quest is definitely the hardest out of, at least out of any of these main ones. I have no idea how Lily's quest go, I'm assuming that's like the final quest, but I have no idea. So, we're gonna have to 
you know, do her quest in the next one. Um, I'm assuming that that is the final quest. But yeah, without knowing what you had to do with Monty's quest, like, without knowing how to get all that money, Monty's quest is definitely probably the hardest one out of all of them. Um, because it, it's... That's gonna take you a lot of trial and error to realize what you had to do. So, yeah, again, interesting. Very interesting. Um, but yeah. I mean, we got it. We did Monty's quest. Yeah, it's not really the way I would have wanted to have to do Monty's quest. I would have probably... I didn't... I would have wanted to figure it out without having to look up how to do it or what the one thing that I missed. But, I mean, there was no there was no way I was going to figure that out. So, yeah. Thank you. I love you.